Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I just got something a little different and a little similar all at once. I'm just doing a plain old vlog. I uh, don't have a script and I don't necessarily have a particular topic to talk about in terms of instruction or how to. This is not a guide. I just felt like getting on and talking about my uh, first day of RPGs in Season 3 of Legion and just uh, life in general. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. So today I hopped on to WoW and got asked to join a buddy of mine who was uh, running some RPGs. I, Austin, the S Priest, you've seen in several of my older videos, particularly back in Season 1, I ran with him a ton. And since then, you know, I've kind of taken a little bit of a break from running consistently every night. Uh, whereas he and several friends of ours uh, that ran with us back then have continued to push rating and improve upon themselves. And so now they're running at much higher ratings. I think most of them are around 2K to 2.1 or 2.2 maybe. In my case, I'm still floating around 18, 1900. But that's the nature of things, you know, I, I would rather put in my time into making videos and content and doing just other things than putting in the time really to be super competitive. Though on the same token, I want to be able to bring competitive content to my channel. And so knowing these guys, being able to run with them and being able to get into their groups and hold my own, uh, not embarrass myself is really important. So. I was happy for the opportunity to get in. I wanted to get in on my Mistweaver Monk. I've uh, wanted to kind of switch gears away from being a Warlock to uh, Mistweaver Healing main. It's just something that I felt like I've wanted to do uh, for the, the, the next couple of seasons at least. Being a Warlock, there's a lot of people who are really opinionated about their locks and would like to teach you how to play your class and uh, just there's a lot of drama <laughs> in being a warlock everyone has a favorite warlock that they would rather run with than you and so me being in my situation where i i get pulled into sometimes groups that are more you know, heavily populated with everybody flashing their achievements and their uh, xp around when i'm not necessarily one of them but i'm friends with the leader or i've you know run with half the group a lot in the past and they know that i'm still going to be able to pull my weight despite not having all the achievements that are really you know at that point a function of time you know, i just don't put in the time that they do and so uh being able to come in as a mistweaver versus a warlock i think it's just a better situation for me personally so i wanted to go on as my warlock or as my mistweaver but the the leader and everybody else were, were like no no we want your lock because i guess warlocks have kind of suddenly become a little bit more popular in this patch i get i'm thinking what happened is they got they did get some buffs but what really kind of made it so that warlocks are stepping up a little bit more lately i think is the decrease of boomkins that you see you still see them in groups they're still i believe the preferred fc the season is young if this is like day two of the season but i think most people are still taking them to be an fc and they still do great single target damage but they're no longer the class that you bring in three or four of to just aoe the entire map with starfall and do huge numbers just across the team so i mean you still have them there for their utility cyclones are is is a great cc to have in team fights and uh you do see some of them sitting bases now i saw some of them uh, several uh team fights without boomkins in them because they were sitting bases and i think that's just the transition of them going from that aoe uh sort of damage spec to being more single target they're still soloable at bases so i think that if i were running a, a bg and a boomkin called an ink to their base i would be more inclined to have somebody peel right then versus say you know a, a paladin or something that can you know bop themselves and just hold on for a while anyway i went in on my lock and immediately the people in the group that didn't recognize me that hadn't run with me before they were the, the new friends at the 2k and 2.1 sort of rating circle 
uh, they were immediately wanting to get rid of me because they didn't recognize me and they all had their favorite locks that were <laughs> that were online and just not in the group. And I, I still, you know, most of my friends weren't necessarily sticking their neck out, necks out for me, but they, they wouldn't budge on, you know, dropping me and, and getting a different lock. So I, I appreciated that. Um, I still had to go through and sit through all the comments of, who is this guy, this Foxy, I was on Foxy Socks, the lock, and they're like, are you the same as Foxy Love? or foxy there's a couple other foxies that play at the, the 2k level that that aren't me uh despite all of my characters being foxy something as a prefix there's some other people that use that as well um but anyway having to explain that no i'm not all those people and i'm just here <laughs> to play and and this is like we just started like we haven't nobody in this group has really played a ton it's like second day of the season so most of the group is sitting between 500 and a thousand cr they just haven't played that many games in the first place most of them haven't even unlocked their uh the artifact knowledge and then the whole broken isles starting scene so you know everyone's fairly new to the the patch and yet they still uh didn't want to take me because i was not that known figure or <laughs> i wasn't in, within their their realm of friends and that was sort of a pain and that's you know it, people say oh it's because they don't want to lose rating they had no rating to lose it's they just didn't want to lose in the first place it's fear so that's uh, you know again supporting the whole idea of going as a healer because healers are a little bit harder to find and uh, people are generally a little bit more happy to have any healer join as long as they're the right class and uh, i i despite mistweavers losing mistwalk which is to the chagrin of so many mistweavers out there i think that they're still pretty viable that you still see plenty of them even in this footage that i'm showing here we're playing against a team that's running three mistweavers still uh, which is probably good for them since we're rocking two uh, Affliction Warlocks and a Boomy and an S-Priest. So, uh, Mistweavers are still strong against dot classes and mitigating some of that damage. I think on the whole we did find some general observations are I've, I've seen some more Hunters in the mix. Boomies I mentioned are uh, significantly less present. You still see plenty of demon hunters. I don't think they're going away for the whole expansion. That's just the nature of new classes being introduced to the game. Uh, as priests are still pretty strong. They're generally high on the damage charts. And between all of the tips and tricks that they've got going on uh, with uh, mind control and I don't know, just whatever they do, they, uh, they're still pretty strong classes to have in a team fight. Affliction locks are still there. I didn't see any Demo or Destro. It was all Affliction. In place of some of the Mistweaver monks, there's also a few more priests. I didn't see any Shaman healing. I think that's to be expected. Sorry, Shaman. I think for the night we went three and two. I think we won most of our games. We had to reset the group a few times at these lower levels. It's a little harder to tell who's going to pull their weight and who's not. There's a number of people who haven't PvP'd in a while and they're jumping in at the beginning of the season. And while that's great, uh, the, like I said, this group that I was in was not willing to put up with it. <laughs> so uh, we had to drop a few people to, pay, to bring in others. Towards the end of the night, we ran into just queuing regularly a group that my uh, good friend Annie was in. He was running Feral Druid, and you've seen him in a few of my videos. Most, I think the popular one is the Eye of the Storm strat video. He's the rogue, and uh, he plays pretty competitively on his rogue and his boomy, though he was feral this time. That team that he was in was running boomy, double feral, double rogue, and we got them in Gilneas. So needless to say, they won, but it was a pretty close match, I think. And he kept whispering me every time he was about to open up on one of our bases. And I kept struggling with the, this internal struggle of, do I call out the ink when he whispers me to taunt me to say, you know, I'm coming for you or something like that? Or do I wait till he opens up? Because I didn't want to call the ink and then he didn't show up. And, because then I just looked the fool. 
and uh, that's struggles of having people on BTAG that you're playing against. Oh well. On the whole, it was a fun night. I got a pretty good insight into at least the first few days of the season. I still would have preferred to be on my Mistweaver, I think. Could have reduced the drama significantly in that group. In YouTube land, we just released a podcast, segment one, with Tiladar, Alliance Rogue, and 2.4 CR uh, RBG leader as, a, as of season two. And that's on 2.2 to 2.4 CR fundamentals. And so I was really uh, excited for that because basically I got to, I put out a video uh, last week or the week before, just very similar to this vlog, but it was a channel update saying that I'm kind of getting to the point where it's like I've covered at least a, an initial attempt at covering most of the content that's, you know, kind of fundamentals for somebody who's just starting out with RBGs. And from that, I gathered that a lot of people wanted stuff that was more advanced. What's the next step in RBG progression? Because you play the game differently when you're first starting and building a group of pugs or guildies or whatnot than you do at a higher level where everybody knows everybody and you're being really competitive and farming raiding as much as you can. The game changes, the social <laughs> landscape changes, and what is considered viable and what's not <laughs> also changes. And so we go into some of that, and on the whole, that video is doing pretty well compared to the rest of my videos. It's gotten about 100 views in the first 24 hours, and lots of great commentary below. Uh, lots of likes. People seem to be pretty excited about it. And we've got two more segments coming right after that. I just need to get some background footage so I can... Like, I've already finished editing all the audio. I just gotta assemble the videos and stick them up on YouTube. So that's forthwith coming. Uh, in real life, I mentioned that I've got a lot going on. And that lot going on has been house hunting for the most part. And... Two days ago, I managed to close on my house. So hopefully in the next few weeks, all this is going to go away. No more seeing my kitchen in the background of my videos, which I'm looking forward to. I'm getting, uh, I'm not moving in right now. It'll be another two or three weeks, maybe mid-April. I'll make the move. So there might be a little bit of a content drought while I do that. But eventually, hopefully we will see a video here of me, but without, like I said, all this piano will still be there probably but uh, I'll have a, an actual den or room for all this stuff instead of just sort of commandeering the dining room so I'm really excited for that and other than that I didn't really have out much else to talk about just wanted to get on and just spout about today and life for a bit and hope I hope that you enjoyed that and if you did leave a thumbs up and if you didn't, then leave a thumbs down. That's okay, too. YouTube treats them as interactions and boosts my video rankings accordingly anyway. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you again with another video. Hopefully these Tiladar ones in the near future. More hot pockets. Oh, like South Park? Yeah, South Park. That, that episode what? got me into this game. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I remember watching that episode and like being a child and can't, I couldn't wait to play WoW. And yeah, like that's so spot on.